Yeah, so um, the badge is because this is one of our UCAS open days, so we're um, chatting to a bunch of potential uh, candidates who want to be in the physics program here next year. I mean, they're people who are in the last year uh, at high school and then uh, taking their high school qualifications and then want to come on to university to do physics here. So this is a season for this, and at the beginning of the season we did a video about what you might want to put, so you put in this thing called a UCAS form, your application, so you know what you might want to write on your UCAS form and your personal statement, all those kinds of things. Now we're sort of at the end of the process, where the students are getting offers from various universities and have to make a decision about where they want to go and so we're kind of going to talk about the, the tail end of the process rather than the beginning of the process. So they've applied, they've probably visited a bunch of places, various places have looked at their applications and we're at the point where most places are making offers or declining the students, refusing you know, deciding not to make them an offer. Over the coming few weeks they're going to get this slew of offers appearing on the UCAS website that says different places will take you if you get these grades in your, in your A-levels, in your high school qualification. For example, I mean, we look at here, we look at every case individually and we really kind of tailor the offer towards the particular candidate and what qualifications they're taping, taking, but typically we'd be looking for sort of around the three A's kind of level. So A's in maths and physics and some third subject uh, that they're studying at A-level. So when they go and look at this stuff on the, on the UCAS website, um, they basically have, they have the list of the places they've applied to and then what the offers the individual places have made next to it. So they know where they stand on all of them. Most places they'll have heard directly from the university as well, but the official offer actually comes through this UCAS system. So then, well, they have to, there's another stage to the process, and that's the point we're at now, is that they have to narrow it down. As I say, typically they've applied to five places, they have to narrow it down to two. And these things are called the conditional firm, which is so it's conditional because it depends on them getting the A-level grades, and firm because it's the place they want to go to. The second choice is a thing called the conditional insurance, which is the place that they want to go to if they don't make the grades to the, go to the first place. So it's still conditional on getting the A-level grades, but it's kind of the insurance if you don't get the grades to go to the place you wanted to go to. The obvious logical thing that you would do at that point is you'd put somewhere that's made a higher offer down as a firm choice and somewhere that's kind of made a lower offer down as your insurance choice because that's the way the system works that you know if you make the grades to go to the firm choice you go there if you don't well you've got a lower offer as your insurance as your kind of backup if you don't get to go to the place you wanted to go to. Okay so you know typically you might have somewhere so supposing we made you an offer of three A's you might put us down as the firm off, firm choice because that's a fairly high offer somewhere maybe they made you an offer of an A and two B's that would be your insurance choice so that that way if you made your three A's at A-level, you come to Nottingham. If you got your A and two B's, then you go to wherever that insurance choice was. So the problem, here's my problem, and actually this is, this is one of those, you know, I'm usually quite enthusiastic about things. This is one of those cases where I kind of feel quite passionately about it because I think a disservice is being done to the applicants, which is that what the applicants need to know is that every physics department in the country, and probably this is true in other subjects as well, but I can only really talk for physics. Every physics department in the country knows that you're likely to put a higher offer down as your firm choice and a lower offer down as your insurance choice. And of course, we all want to be the firm choice because there's a subtlety in the system here, which is that once you put somewhere down as the firm choice, you're committed to going there. So if you make the A-level grades, you're guaranteed a place. But actually, even if you don't make the A-level grades, then you have to go there if the department says, well, actually, we'll take you anyway. So there's a game that you can play as an admissions tutor, which is you can make very high offers and actually then even students who get quite low grades, you take them anyway. So you sucker them in by making yourself look prestigious because you made a high offer and actually you're the highest offer they've received so they feel obliged to put that down as the firm choice. But actually then they take students with really quite, with really quite lower level grades. And it's, so it's a very dishonest game that some of these offers have very little to do with kind of what standard of, of qualifications you actually need to go to the university. It's all about playing this game of trying to get someone to put you down as the firm choice. Well, you must play the game then. We, I mean, because this annoys me so much, we really don't. So to be completely candid about it, our typical offer last year was three A's. If you got two A's and a B, we'd probably have taken you. So we have a little bit of flexibility, but students who are getting C's and D's in their A-levels, we really don't take because we really don't want to play this game. But there's a real pressure to do so because actually, because we can lose out, right? If, because, you know, so there's a new grade that's coming at A-levels, they called A star, which is above A now. And various of our competitors now are putting A stars in their offers. So they're making A star AA offers instead of three A offers. So they're kind of just upping their offers that little bit so that they're that little bit higher than their competitors so that they get put down as a firm choice somewhere else as the insurance choice. And uh, it's dishonest to the students because it means there's this inflationary thing that's going on every year. Everyone's trying to make their offers slightly higher than their competitors. The offers just start getting dishonest. And I, you know, as far as possible, really don't want to play the game. And that's why, so this is one of those cases where I really would give a really strong piece of advice to, to, to the candidates, 
which is usually, you know, usually I just say, well, here's what we have, here's the upside, here's the downside. But this is a, a really strong piece of advice, which is basically decide where it is you want to go to university and put it down as the firm choice and then worry about the insurance choice. And, and the reason for that is, you know, there are many good reasons for picking a university, you know, uh, what the course is like, uh, what the university's reputation is like, whether it's close enough to home, whether it's far enough away from home, you know, there are many good reasons for picking a university, but the whim of the admissions tutor as to where they've set their offer this year is really not a good basis for deciding where to spend the next three or four years of your life. It really isn't. So decide where it is you want to go to university, put that down as the firm choice, and then think about the insurance choice. That may mean you end up in a strange situation where your insurance choice is actually a higher offer than your firm choice, right? which looks ridiculous. right? You know, It could be that maybe, as I say, maybe we make you an offer of 3A, somewhere else makes you an offer of an A and 2Bs. The place that makes you the offer of an A and 2Bs is really the place you want to go. Well, in that case, put them down as the firm choice, put us in as the insurance by all means, and it'll look very silly. And, and a lot of people will try and talk you out of this and say, oh, you can't do that, that's the wrong way around. Uh, parents are notorious for this, schools are even more notorious for this. They'll try and say, oh, you really shouldn't do that. You really should, because if that's the place you want to go, you have to put it as the firm choice, because otherwise you almost certainly won't go there. Shouldn't your second choice, your insurance choice, be a really low offer, so that if you bomb completely and get rejected by two high offers, you still get into a university? It could be. I mean, there's a couple of problems with that. One of which is that so many places are playing this game now, trying to make their offers higher and higher, that actually you probably won't be getting very many low offers. So actually you probably won't have the, the choice to do that. And secondly, the places that are prepared to make those low offers are probably somewhere that it's a sufficiently poor idea to go. If you really think you should be performing at that level, you'd probably be better spending an extra year resetting some exams, maybe reapplying the following year. So actually a better bet is probably to reapply rather than going down that route. When you actually come to fill out the form and you put a lower thing as your firm choice and a higher thing as your insurance choice, it just feels all inside out and back to front. And so psychologically, it's quite a hard thing to do to actually do this. But really, you have to get over that and really put down the place you want to go as the firm choice. The other issue is you might think, well, actually, I don't really mind that much. And, you know, if I don't get my firm choice, I'll go to the insurance. And although that's, that's really the place I wanted to go to, well, then it'll all come out fine. Bear in mind, the insurance choice, what will happen is come August when the exam results come out, if you don't get your firm choice, where you've kind of decided that you were sort of going to go, then you'll, you may fall through to the insurance choice. They'll, they'll take you if you make the grades. But, of course, by that point, They'll have used up all their accommodation, everything will be sorted out, you'll have this mad rush in the last few weeks before you go to university. It would be far better if that was the place you really wanted to go to. If you just put it down as a firm choice in the first place, you'd have made the grades, you'd have gone there, all your accommodation would have been sorted, your life would be ready to go you know, before the A-level results even came out. If I followed your advice and that involved making my insurance choice the superior offer, the mm -hmm. one that required all the spanking A-stars, and I didn't get my first choice, which required A's and B's, mm -hmm. how on earth could I be expected to get my second choice anyway? You'd be very unlikely to, to be quite honest, and actually you would probably then fall out of the bottom of the system, and then there's a whole second process called clearing, which is how people who don't get either their first or second choice then get a place at university, or again, they can reapply in the following year. But if you think about it for a moment, even if you put them the other way around, you'd have been in exactly the same situation because then you certainly wouldn't have made the grades to go to the top offer, and you actually wouldn't have made the grades to go to the insurance choice either. So it would have made no difference in those circumstances which way around you put them. You'd still have been in the same situation, so you'd have been no better off putting them the other way around, and you just would have missed out on the opportunity of actually going to the university you wanted to go to if you hadn't made the grades.